is in town and a full crowd. And they are roaring already as we are underway. The pitch off the plate from Oscar Inoa to DJ LeMayhew, former batting champion. 49 driven in. And well, foul to the plate. To piggyback that, it doesn't matter where you fans. Breaking ball, LeMayhew fouls that away to the left side, and Inoa ahead. Living. And a swing and a miss. LeMayhew down. There's that devastating slider. One up, one down for Eno. Box the Cubs and now the Yankees. And Rizzo, mm. along with Gallo, guys, has given New York exactly came against the Braves while he was with the Cubs. And Mike, this guy is right away to him right now, but obviously what he wants to see is a pitch in. I think Jeff could talk to that and, and approach right there. And I bet you that night. Try to turn, put in that right field porch. Rizzo, a fly ball to left, long run Duval still coming. He's going to get there, and Rizzo's retired on a soft fly ball to hit for Aaron Boone. It was in the last year of his contract with the Yankees. He's done a great job, like Brian Snitker. He's reached base in 15 straight games. There's that changeup again twice already tonight. He will strike out. He will hit the ball out of the ballpark. And there's a rope into left field. First hit of the game that went 114 miles an hour off the bat. It sounded loud. Judge with a line drive. Here's Joey Gallo. He's the left fielder tonight for the Yankees, playing in his 20th game in the outfield this year. And in. Braves have a big shift on for him. And that skips up there. Contreras and I stop. Ball two. Well, and I think Aaron Boone's going to have boy. All of a sudden now he's. Gallo didn't get it. Two league hitter. Judge is running. The pitch is a ball. The throw to second is going to be dropped. So Aaron Judge, six out of six in stolen bases. He'll reach with two outs. And Gallo ahead in the count. Three balls and a strike. Mike with two outs in the first inning. And we got to get that pitcher, Judge, standing next to Ozzy at some point. Remember, they used to have that one, him next out two. Here in the first. Yes. Struck him out inside corner. He know with a breaking ball. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's a pretty cool thing and, and an honor, really. Well, your time will come. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Only thing I have to do is I get the good game face going. <laughs> <laughs> and strike to Stanton 0 and 2 from Wascari. You know. He's in Braves meeting in games three and four head to head. Giancarlo Stanton always historically pitched very tough. He gets his, but he has not overpowered Atlanta's offense, historically speaking. Ball back. Stanton, a 222 lifetime hitter against the Braves. And see, I think that's the pitch years back. No, no, and uh, the thing I was kind of interested to see tonight is whether. Line drive got his arms extended, and Stanton hits it into the chop house. It's 1 0 New York. If you go away, you better go way away with that extension. Yeah, I was just about to finish and say that, you know, it seems to me you're going to kind of have to pick one with with Oscar tonight. And I think he after that one up and hitting 218. And he wails away and fouls it off to the right side. Strike one. I think that's something for Oscar. I thought you hung it, but he's going to go back and and talk and look to them and, and say, you know what? You made a good one. Dansby's got it, and Sanchez is retired easily for out number one. Mike, we're going to take a look. You know, how do you how do you go to a third? Yeah, is that kind of the thing? You, as Odor comes in, it's tough to get beat by that third pitch. It is. I when one goes the other way, um, you know, what do you do at that point? But I, I'm looking forward to seeing him develop that one. I would think that would be a hugely important pitch for the point Mike you just made. Everything he throws has velocity to it, right? Yeah, but I still think his fastball plays up because of the aggression he's now throwing it with. I think you go back a couple of years and you're going to see a different guy on the mound, and, and I think that may oomph behind it right now. Yeah. 2 1 pitch to Odor misses down and away. Three balls at a strike. One thing you don't want to do with a 1 0 Yankees, a Stanton opposite field homer, and this one hit a mile high. 
shallow center. Dansby goes out. Heredia comes in, calls him off, and there's the second out. I'll tell you what, that's one thing I love. Him, he's been a godsend for the Yankees. He's played well, solidified the shortstop spot for them. A native New Yorker getting to play for the Yankees. And hitting 242. Hit a home run Saturday against the Twins for his first of the in the Bronx. <laughs> While wearing the pinstripes at home, the pitch is cut on a miss. One ball, two strikes. And now Riley will slide over to right field, become the rover. Up here, too, you see how far that really is. Uh, he's doing it all game. Strike three call. Velasquez is retired looking. Ball at top. Well, he'll face Jordan Montgomery, his mound opponent. Montgomery takes a strike. As the third inning underway, as both blasts came an inning ago. I don't think Jordan Montgomery wants any of this AB right here. I don't think so either. <laughs> oh. Every pitcher wants that one, right? Yeah. So, you know, we'll throw a fourth to Montgomery. And got him to swing and miss. That's four strikeouts. And he gets the leadoff man in the third inning. Top of the order coming up. But first, a quick message from Truist. This one on the ground. Dansby charges. LeMayhew, soft contact, is quickly out number two. Set down the last five Yankees in order. And in for a strike and cannot state it enough. We are watching history tonight winning streaks. Oh and two. And both the Braves and Yankees trying to punch a ticket are right now. Yep. Oh two pitch swing and a miss. You know I has set down six straight five strike. He did not agree with me. Is it hard pitching to a guy with a strike zone st strike zone this big because stuff you really got to mix him up and, and see what he's going for on each at bat. Well, and he's one of the best high ball hitters in baseball too. I think that's the thing people don't realize whether he fouls it off but with those arms he gets extension on it. He's like Solaire we talked about you don't have to square it up perfect. Sharply hit and Dansby's got that. And Judge is out number one. He knows up to Rizzo is actually not that bad of a pitch. How do you feel about facing a guy like Gallo when you look at his average he's a 208 guy compared to a big guy like Judge. I wouldn't say it exactly changes uh, what you're wanting to do. Uh, Paints a corner pretty pitch 96 mile an hour fastball. He There's the Atlanta shift one two pitch and that one was at the shoelaces almost hit him two balls two strikes. And shallow right, Ozzie at the cut of the outfield grass at second, and he pulled the string again. That is strikeout number six for Wascar Enoa. Two up, two down to the Braves at the trading deadline in 2017 for Jaime Garcia and Anthony Recker. He was the Twins' 22nd ranked prospect. Pen. Oh, I saw it the whole time, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> No, he has. Uh, I mean, he is getting better and better every start, and that's why we saw his numbers in AAA and rush. Not, not, not like there is tonight. And there's that inside pitch, Jeff. You were talking about. Yeah, his ball's running today a little bit too, and and we've seen that with a couple slider. One thing that I like about you know what some of the analytics have done for the game of baseball, especially pitching, is. You know, kind of breaking down some some rules that we used to pitch by. We talked about doubling the first time around. He showed it to them in the first inning. You know, it's in the back of their it's in the back of their minds and going forward. You know, his pitch swing and a miss, a sweeping slider, back to back strike. It'll be very different, and we're gonna be out here playing soon. Can't wait. Can't imagine what that whole experience has been like for you. You were very open and honest in your conversations with the press before the game today. I think exactly what you said. Can't wait to see you back full strength. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And you know what happens and things you don't expect in that attitude every day. And you know there's going to be tough days, but it's about getting through them and, and getting back out there and, and getting some wins for this ball club. It's going to be a blowout either way because I don't know what I'd have to talk about after that.
Well, we could have got some stuff going for you. Yeah. <laughs> We're never short on content. As Gary Sanchez digs in, leading off for the Yankees, Sanchez, Odor, and Velasquez are coming up. I got to ask you, what's the big worries, really? I mean, every time they come back, it feels like, you know, you've been away for a month and, and so much has happened. Dansby calls off Riley and takes care of Sanchez. That's 10 in a row retired. One. Lunette Odor, the Yankee third baseman, is the hitter. And backed away from a breaking ball. Well, he's had excellent command, excellent stuff. Two to one strike to ball ratio, 63 pitch. Little tapper right out in front of the mound. Take your time, Waskar. Little slip. Boy, he he tore, tore up, up a jump. huge. You know, on a very nice roll. Rope toward right. Solaire's not going to get that. First pitch up against the wall. And Velasquez can really fly. He's on his way to second with a sliding double. That's the first Yankee. Fastball. I, I think sometimes we're, we're afraid as pitchers. There. I mean, we, you have to kind of make him feel a little bit uncomfortable. Ball no strikes for Montgomery. And you want to get him. You don't want to deal with LeMayhew and Rizzo in this. I bet you heard it. Used to that, that ball usually just sticks. And he's gone three and one to the pitcher. Get in the zone right here. Full count. It's a great job by Contreras right there to bring that back in. Yankee pitcher Jordan Montgomery. And he came back to get him. A swing and a miss. Two out double. That is strikeout number eight. So you know facing the top of the Yankees order. And he drills LeMayhew with the very first pitch. One pitch. Get two quick ones. Rizzo to a knee. Tried to launch one on top of the chop house. Short lead. Not going. And overpowered him with a fastball. So, guys, Mike. You have to be on top of that fastball high. It's a good spot. And there it was. One, two. Rizzo to center. Cur curling away from Heredia. He got a great jump, and he makes the play for out number one. Rizzo, a lot like Freddie in the fact. A little off that slider. Got it over for a strike. Contreras, a nice stop. Really impressed with how William has improved behind the plate. You don't have to go back anymore. A little pop into shallow right. Solaire coming on like a house of fire. He's got it. He'll throw back to first, but LeMayhew is there safely. Letting him keep going. Third time through the order. He's gotten Gallo on strikes twice. Once looking, once swinging. Mm. You have the right hand hitting Giancarlo Stanton waiting. He's going to get that one. Out of play foul. And into the upper deck. Hey, great catch. Fan from Cartersville made the play in the second row. All right for game one of this two game set with the Yankees. Pitch. Three and one. And we wrote about a hundred notes to kids for being late to school tomorrow. That's right. We promised on Sunday if fans came out and after last year. And the three one he is up and away. New count. You've got the right hand hitter. Giancarlo Stanton. Would be just what the doctor ordered. And an inside corner strike. Backed up on Stanton. Didn't like it. 0 and 1. Well, and you see every time that ball comes in a little bit, you see the flinch. You get him too. Mayhew, a big lead at second. And that's down and away. One ball, one strike. Braves bullpen had for Enoa tonight. First and second, two out. And way high to Stanton. It's two. Most he threw in his rehabs were 83. This one whacked to left, to left field, and that's going to put the Yankees in front. And ricochets awkwardly off the wall. One run scores, streaking around third, and scoring is going to be Gallo. John three to one lead, and that missed inside for Gary Sanchez. May you get a bear down here. It's your last.
That's a roller foul. Even count. One ball, one strike. A ball and a strike. This is Wicks. And Charlie pitches for the Braves tomorrow night. Swing and a miss under the hands. That was thrown with some anger.